Hey Cancerians, how y'all doing? Welcome. We're going to be taking a look at your first half of June, general reading here. So in the meditation, first of all, gorilla energy has been coming across for so many of y'all and we got another gorilla in your meditation. So I saw the image of like a huge skyscraper and then I saw kind of like a King Kong vibe. Um, it's huge gorilla. Jump onto the top of the the skyscraper and then kind of break it in half from its weight like it pulled on it till it broke in half and then I saw the gorilla like realize that it was chocolate like the whole thing was made of chocolate and that the outside that looked like a sky skyscraper was really just the wrapping and then unwrapped it and started eating the chocolate just like ferociously eating the chocolate and then I saw the gorilla like huge King Kong gorilla like stand up and and see that there was an ocean nearby goes and walks to the ocean, sits at the ocean, and then out of the ocean, like off into the distance, this whale comes up through the water and the gorilla and the whale like kind of lock eyes and the gorilla swims out to the whale and they just embrace each other. Fascinating. What I get from this is, again, the gorilla is very much emperor energy. It's very much Aries energy, which is a huge influence um, at the moment. It's very much about you know, a certain uh, getting things done, making sure everyone and everything is provided for. It's that really masculine, taking care of business, doing what I gotta do, all of those things, right? But there's another aspect to the emperor that's just as important, but I feel like isn't necessarily talked about as much or recognized as much, which is like, if the emperor takes care of everybody, who takes care of the emperor? And I feel like that was coming up for you. You know, when I think about chocolate and the and the whole, like, the skyscraper, you know, chocolate, it felt like to that gorilla, it was like comfort food, right? And chocolate, chocolate is for sure, like a comfort food, right? We eat it, it, it gets the serotonin going, it's, it's a comfort food. So the fact that that was involved and then going to the ocean and then seeing the whale and then going out and being joined, I feel like there's an aspect of yourself, Cancer, that has maybe been... Uh, going about the work a lot or, or going about how things you know need to be or taking care of business or going along to get along and you are really being encouraged to go and embrace the parts of you that are crying out for either emotional healing or comfort or you know just being to al allowing yourself to to be taken care of or taking care of yourself in the way that you would take care of someone else it really feels that way because whale energy is, is very much about the heart chakra. It's about comfort. It's a queen of cups energy, which is about allowing, you know, oneself to be nurtured and held and, and loved unconditionally, right? If the emperor's worth is based off of what he does, then the whale says, I don't care what you do. You just being you is enough for me. Get in these arms <laughs> or get in these fins. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what the cards say. Hey, Cancerians, let's go ahead and see what your animal energy is for the first half of June. Animal energy for the first half of June. Ah, oh, oh, look who's at the bottom. I feel like she wants to come out. We're going to take her too. <laughs> all right. Wow, that's amazing. So first of all, we have fire and water here, which is really, really interesting. Red color of the emperor. Cobra energy, fire, and then whale water energy. Look at all the comforting essence. So, you know, Cobra, I'm going to leave her here. Cobra is very much, you know, equates to the hanged man and the Tyrell, which is very much about taking time out in stillness or, or taking the time in order to flip one's perspective and see something differently, which is really, really interesting given the emperor. And, and if the emperor takes care of everybody, who takes care of the emperor? There's something about flipping your perspective and allowing yourself like a series of several breaks <laughs> that I'm tapping into here. Um, you know, also the Cobra is, is very much about timing as well. It, it doesn't deliver venom with every single bite. It, it sort of uses its discernment to know when to give that venom and when to hold back. So there's a certain element of discernment and timing with the Cobra energy as well. All right, when to strike and when to wait and be still. All right, what's going on? What's going on? I cannot tell you how much, how many wands I've been seeing today in these readings. So the wands, right? More fire energy for you. The wands rule the realm of the actions that we do or don't take around the work that we love to do 
or around the relationships about which we are passionate, right? So it's about what fuels that fire, right? Three of Wands is, is an interesting one because if we think about the Two of Wands in terms of, of building that foundation, allowing it to be strong and sturdy so that when opportunity knocks, we're ready, the Three of Wands is saying like, hey, like I, we're, we're going to take you to the next level. This is people coming on board to help right? And support you in your journey. They're offering you assistance. They're wanting to be part of what you're doing and you are setting off down the path, right? You are steady going. The foundation is good. It's behind you and you're ready to move on to the third and move forward onto the next horizon, right? So that's really interesting here with the red as well. And this is coming in in your past position. Definitely a lot going on. <laughs> that's what I'm feeling. A lot going on. A lot going on. I feel like there's a there's a big question around the work that you do or how you do it. Something to do with the work. Wow. More transitions. <laughs> do you see like the parallels here with the bodies of water and the movement forward and the, the wand sticking up and the swords? This is my absolute favorite swords key. So this is six of swords. This is so beautiful because it speaks of transition of moving from one place to another right? On a body of water, it is air, but we do have fire here and water with the whale, fire with the cobra, and then more water here. So it's interesting. But Six of Swords is about transitioning from one place to another. This can be moving, even traveling across a body of water. This can be changing jobs. This can be transitioning into a new lifestyle, a new way of thinking. But this is transition, right? But the best part about this is that this denotes a complete peace of mind. So it's a complete peace of mind around a transition, which is so, so nice. This is like whew, completely free of anxiety or worry and just knowing that everything you need is going to be along the path. It's, it's really beautiful. This is following a feeling and having peace of mind in doing so. Really interesting Hermit Virgo energy here. So, you know, this is really interesting. This is coming up as your major arcana as well. You know, the Hermit Virgo energy is very much about things being a certain way, the I's being dotted, the T's being crossed. It's similar to the Emperor energy, but the Hermit says, you know what? I'm going to go inside of myself a lot like the hanged man, actually. I'm going to go inside of myself and, and really seek the wisdom that is within me. I'm going to go inside and really take the time to figure out what it is that makes me happy, what I want, what I want to do with my precious time on this earth, and how I'm going to leave the world different than how I found it. And am I going to leave it better than how I found it? Am I making an impact? In what ways do I make an impact? It's all of those questions. It's all of those deeply philosophical and spiritual questions, right? In the Hermit's Lantern, there is the star from the star key, that Aquarius energy that says like, what in me, right? What are the best parts of myself and how am I honoring those parts as well? It's really interesting. It's a time of questions, questions and contemplation and a desire to really transition from one state of being to another. Again, whether it's transitioning jobs, home, perspective, there, it's very, very strong here in terms of like wanting to move. And it's really interesting that I saw that, you know, gorilla literally go into the ocean and travel into this body of water. I feel like the whale is representing what the heart wants really yearning for what the heart wants and wanting to spend more time doing it like are you an artist working in a job where you work with numbers are you you know doing what you love to do but the environment isn't making you happy are you you know something really asking those questions so what in your experience and really flipping your perspective and taking the time to really consider you know if if life is precious as time is precious how are you spending it right i really want to get your advice let's get your advice <laughs> oh my lord your advice is the wheel of fortune really okay wheel of fortune is is first of all it's a major arcana which denotes destined or fated events right if you see something in the minor arcana that you don't like any one of these except the hermit you can take steps to change it right but the majors are major and they are what they are the Wheel of Fortune is about forward movement. It's about the luck of the draw. It's about the wheel turning in your favor and fortune 
smiling upon you. You know, especially with this ladybug here, you know, seeing a ladybug is a sign of good fortune. I want to take this totem literally and tell you to, to look out for the ladybugs because it, it really feels like it's a, it's a momentary like stroke of good luck in some way. But the fact that this is your advice is honoring your desire to transition ahead and allowing, you know, your own impetus, your own impulses, your own desire to move that wheel forward for you, knowing that if you follow the feelings, if you follow your feelings, you will end up where you want to be. And that's what this is. Wheel of Fortune, Six of Swords, Hermit going within, lighting the way forward, Whale, Cobra. When you follow your feelings, you end up exactly where you want to be. And you're being encouraged. You are being encouraged to take a chance on yourself and really follow the feelings that you have about where you could go in your path forward. It's really beautiful, actually. It's really, really beautiful. Let's get an oracle. I'm feeling this one. I haven't used this deck like at all today, but I'm really feeling this oracle. Did you hear that? <laughs> Just a call, call outside the window there. Look at how beautiful. The, oh my God, is that literally birds here? So you're hearing the bird outside. It's really beautiful. So look, it's a space. Look at how beautiful this is. So let's talk. First of all, we have the imagery of the moon here, which you as Cancerians, your ruling planet is the moon. So I like that that's coming up here for you. When we talk about following your feelings as well. That's incredibly potent moon energy, right? But space, you know, <laughs> I kind of want to take this literally in terms of giving yourself the space because that's hermit. Hermit goes on a journey to give as much space as necessary to what needs to come to light. So I'm hearing to really take this literally as your oracle and give yourself the space that you need to close your eyes and tap in to what is in your heart center and what is calling for your attention. What do you want to do more than anything? What if you were to, not to get too morbid, but if you were to die next week, right? What would you want your obituary to say? What would you want to have accomplished in this time? It's time to, I'm hearing that it's time to really start asking these questions because as a collective, we're moving towards a place where we're being called to step out of obligation and really align with actually what we're here to do from a soul perspective. This is the shedding of an old paradigm, right? And the beginning of a new one in the age of Aquarius. So you're being asked, what do you really want to do? Who do you really want to be? Who do you really want to be with? What do you want your given circumstances to look at? Because the time is now. And again, it's really about allowing for... I'm seeing this music note. Um, music, musicians there. The birds flying. It, 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 do you hear that bird outside there? I think it's not a crow calling. It, um, I think that that's a jackdaw i think it's a little bit different than a crow cod where i'm living there's there's so many birds here that i've become um uh, quite proficient in distinguishing the different bird sounds <laughs> anyway i do feel like this is is allowing for space for for you to really be nurtured and give yourself the room in order to tap into what your heart really wants and what you need. Because there's an aspect of you that is calling to be nurtured. I feel like you've either been taking care of other people or seeing to business a lot, but not you may have been neglecting your own desires and needs in some way, shape, or form. And you are being called to give yourself space around that and, and really comfort yourself and give yourself what you need and desire and deserve. That's what this feels like, right? Remember that huge candy bar. <laughs> So there's really something in that for you because I feel like on the other side of doing this, you have the opportunity with the Wheel of Fortune as your advice to transition into a reality where you are incredibly fulfilled in doing what you truly love to do or 
in a situation with people that you truly love or a person or whatever that is for you. But it feels like an untapped desire at this point, okay? And you're being asked to let the wheel turn, roll the dice and, and really allow yourself to, to take a chance on something new and following the feelings. Because again, when you follow the feelings, you end up exactly where you want to be. That is really, really beautiful ending note there, Cancer. With that being said, I'm sending you so many blessings for your first half of June. I so hope that this helped and resonated. If so, please do let me know in the comments below. I absolutely love reading your comments so, so much. Please like, please share, please subscribe. I would so appreciate that. And with that being said, just thank you. Thank you so, so much, each and every one of you, for being here. And most of all, and as always... Thank you for being you and be well until next time.